Hey guys, as always, thanks for tuning in. I uh, have my Arcade Cat Axe joining us here for the video. Let's see how long he'll hang out. Um, but I got a new release for you on Pixelcade, lots of new features. Um, if you're on Pixelcade for Linux, so of course we've always supported RetroPie, that's still there. Do have some new features though, so high scores are supported on RetroPie. There's also an artwork uploader, so it's easier to get the new artwork. And then also we support MUELEC and Bodicera. So those are alternatives to RetroPie, in my opinion, are quite good. Also come with some different hardware. This is an Odroid N2, for example, runs faster than the, the Pi 4. It's worth checking out. So that is there. But mainly for this video, I wanted to focus on Windows support. So a lot of new features added for PixelKid Windows. Um, the first one being a new artwork uploader. So updating artwork on on Pixelcade for Windows was sort of painful before because you had to basically reinstall Pixelcade and there's so much artwork now, the install just kind of took forever. So now um, install the new version, but you'll get a new artwork uploader icon, run that, and that separates the artwork from the main Pixelcade files. So if you want to just get the latest artwork, you don't want to do a reinstall, just run the artwork uploader. A lot of great artwork from James T. Some other folks in the community have been doing an awesome job uploading artwork. So definitely check that out. This release actually has a bunch of new artwork. So definitely you want to get that. We also have support for the latest coin ops. So um, got a bunch of requests for the latest coin ops. So that actually wasn't working before. That's now fixed. Um, and then along with that, we added high score support for coin ops as well. So if you're playing coin ops and you've got high scores turned on, that does require the paid version of LED Blinky. Um, that now works in coin ops. So that wasn't there before. Um, also, speaking of the paid version of LED Blinky, there's another feature um, called Cycle Mode. And so that basically, when you launch a game, it'll do scrolling text, including high scores if you have that turned on. It can then cycle between the high scores and the actual game marquee. Game marquee. So that's called Cycle Mode. Um, we also have a, a news ticker mode. So a while back, we actually wrote, I wrote a news ticker. Um, which is a standalone program, so I don't know if anyone actually ever used it. I think a few of you did, but now it's integrated with the screensaver. So when your screensaver kicks on, this can turn into news ticker mode. Um, as of right now, though, that feature seems to only work on big box. And then lastly, just a few bug fixes and a couple minor changes I made to the front end setup wizard, which makes it easier to set up some of the front ends, including coin ops that we talked about. So now let me get into it and let's show you a demo of some of these new features. So here is CoinOps Retro Arcade 2. And I just wanted to show you that we've now got high score support for CoinOps. So if I launch this game. Shield. Primary control. Directional buttons. Two way left slash right. And there are your high scores. All right, so here is how cycle mode works. And so you can see the marquee is cycling between the now playing text and the actual game marquees, which in this case are animated. So if they're animated, they're gonna cycle like that. And I don't have a high score on this particular game, but if I had a high score, that would be cycling as well as part of that scrolling text. Here's a game that doesn't have an animated marquee, and I'll show you how this looks with Cycle Mode. Shoot. Bomb. Primary control. Eight-way joystick. So right now I have it set to cycle every 10 seconds, and this you can change in LED Blinky. So every 10 seconds, it's going to switch to scrolling text and then go back to this. So as you're playing the game, it'll just keep doing that until you stop playing it. So now I'll sit on the marquee. Again, I have this set for 10 seconds. And then after those 10 seconds, it'll go back to scrolling the text. And I don't have a high score in this game, but if I did have a high score, the high score would show up there as well. Okay, so now I want to show you, again, this is big box specific, 
but I want to show you that news ticker feature on the screensaver. So I'm going to go to options here and go down to attract mode. And since we're doing a demo here, I'm going to turn the screensaver on in 10 seconds. Attract mode and screensaver are the same thing in big box. So that is okay. So now just go ahead and keep your eye. Oops, not sure what that is. Keep your eye on the marquee. As soon as the screensaver kicks in, we will start to see some news feeds. Okay, so they're kicked in the track mode. You can see we're just manually scrolling through games, and now our news ticker has kicked in. And so this will just keep scrolling news feeds as long as you don't touch anything on your arcade, and it'll just um, keep keep pulling the news feeds. The news feeds are configurable. So you can go into the UI, I'll show you that here in a sec, on how to change the news feeds. Right now it's set up for sports, but you can also do like um, news, you know, news feeds, real news, whatever you want. Whatever RSS feed is out there on the internet, you can actually pull down from here. And then if I want to kill it, I just simply select a game, and then now I'm back to arcade mode. So that is how that works. But let me show you how to set that up with LED blinky because there's a little thing you got to do before that. So let me go ahead and exit out of here. And let's get into the LED blinky config program. Let me zoom in better so you can see what's going on. Okay, so here is our LED blinky config program. Now, by default, that news ticker feed is not turned on. So what you would want to do is you want to go over here to screensaver and by default it'll be on this. You want to click on ticker mode. And again, this only works on big box right now. It actually kind of works on hyperspin. Um, on hyperspin, if you set the wheel to spin at the max, you'll actually get like one news feed before the, the game is selected. So you can try that if you're on hyperspin too. And then the other thing I wanted to show you guys was over that cycle mode I was talking about so if you click on Game Active, then you're gonna see this continuous cycle between text and text and game image. By default, that's not checked. If you check it, that basically turns on cycle mode. And again, both of these features do need the paid version of LED Blinky. Um, Arzu is awesome, he's been super helpful. So those are, those are paid features. So um, let's go ahead and save that. Now the other thing, and this is a little trick on big box if you are doing the screensaver trick is you need to do one more setting within LaunchBox. And let me show you how that works here, one second. Okay, so we're in LaunchBox. Let's go ahead and go to Options. Sorry, Tools, Options. And then go down here to the LED Blinky section. Did I pass it? Here it is. And then you notice here that there's this checkbox, don't start screensaver when entering a track mode. So if you want the news ticker to work, leave that unchecked. By default, it's actually checked. Um, let me, by the way, show you the behavior when it is checked. But again, if you want the news feature, the news feed feature, leave that unchecked. If you want it to actually change when it's in track mode and, and ch the marquee change when you pick a game, then go ahead and leave that checked like that. So let me show you the behavior just so you see both modes. So let me save that. Let's go back into big box. Okay, so we're getting back into big box. So now track mode is kicked in. You notice the news feed isn't happening anymore. And then once it lands on a marquee, pixel Kate is then gonna change to match whatever game was selected. So there's just two different kind of behaviors. Um, just depends on what you want. All right, so last thing before we go, I wanna show you that artwork update program I was talking about. Okay, so what you wanna do is go to your Pixelcade program files. Okay, so just go find Pixelcade here. And by the way, since we're here, You'll, you'll see this Pixelcade LED ticker. And so this is where you can configure your own feeds. 
So you can see the default feeds here. If you want to change these and um, instead of having you know sports, whatever, just find your RSS URL, enter that there. And then you can actually click the start ticker. This is how you run that manually. So now you see the ticker is going. So if you want to play with the ticker and you're not on big box, that's how you can also run the ticker. Okay, so let's close that. But what I was trying to show you here was the actual Pixelcade marquee artwork updater program. So let's go back into program files here. And you want to look for this icon right here that says Pixelcade LED artwork updater. Go ahead and run that. Now, one thing on this guy that's very important is if you've done your own custom artwork. So for example, let's say you, you, know, you had did your own custom marquee for Pac-Man. When you run this updater, it's gonna overwrite what you've done. So before you run this updater, make sure you back up any custom artwork you've done, just stick it in another folder, run this up, updater, and then copy it back. And like we talked about before, if you've done some cool marquees, Definitely reach out on the Pixelcade forums or do a GitHub pull request. Um, you can email, email me directly at al at ledpixelart.com and I will add that marquee to the repo and then everyone else can benefit in the community. So once you've backed up your artwork, if you haven't done any custom artwork, then don't even worry about it. Just go ahead in here and hit the start button. And this basically will download the master artwork, which at the time of this filming is about 230 meg. So just let this run. Okay, it's gonna do the download, and then once it's download, actually just downloaded a zip file, then it needs to basically unzip it and extract all those files, so that's what it's doing right now. This will take a bit depending on the speed of your computer, so just let this run. Okay, and once that command prompt window goes away. It's extracted all the files. Now it just needs to move some stuff around. So let this run as well and just wait until that red bar turns green. Okay, so you see the green bar, it's done. Now all the artwork, the new artwork has been extracted and just run Pixelcade again and you can get the benefit of all that new artwork again without having to do a reinstall. So that, that should be good for you guys. So anytime you wanna refresh the artwork, just again, go back there, look for that Pixelcade LED artwork updater, just run it again, and that, that will let you get the latest and greatest.